Tom Hardy is a bad ass. So Warrior is about the tale of two brothers, one played by Tom Hardy and another played by Joel Legerton. Tom Hardy plays uh, Tommy Conlon, a former Marine who just gets back in the Iraqi war and goes to live on under his father's wing, played by Nick Nolte, a recovering alcoholic who pretty much fucked up their family. The other, uh, Joel Legerton, plays Brandon Conlon, who is a physics teacher and a former MMA fighter, is married to a hot chick and two daughters. So he's down on his mortgage, and the only way he could see about getting his house still is by fighting in MMA fights. And they both get or see an advertisement to this fight called Sparta, and the grand prize is $5 million, so they go to, the, to Atlantic City, New Jersey, and ultimately they're on a crash course to face the, the forces that tore, tore apart their family and ultimately their selves was made by the guy who did Miracle, which, like this movie, is an excellent, well-done sports drama movie. The story of the movie is so well done, it's very well written, but really, the major pro of this movie has to be given to the performances, mostly to Joel Edgerton, Nick Nolte, and Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is a emotional roller coaster. When you see him in those fights, you know that shit is going to go down, and he is going to beat the living crap out of somebody. If you guys had any doubts about Tom Hardy playing Bane in Dark Knight Rises, watch Warrior. Nick Nolte, he does an amazing job. All Basically said, all the three actors give their, give their A game, and they all gave outstanding performances all around. MMA movies like, you know, like Fight Club, they've treated MMA so poorly to make the to make people think it's an underground thing, it's illegal, it's like street fighting almost. Warrior treats MMA the way it should be treated. I mean, yeah, brutal, and yeah, you're gonna see some badass action. Everything about this movie is so well done. The camera work, the music, the acting, the story, the, the, st the script, the dialogue. If I had to give maybe one flaw to this movie, but it's very, very small, it's that there's one little storyline that wasn't fully developed the way I wanted to develop. It felt rushed by the end of the movie. But still, the pros of this movie outweigh the cons in this case. So overall, Warrior is just an excellent, well-done sports drama. It's one of the best movies of this year. I'm going to give Warrior 5 out of 5 stars. So if you found this review helpful, subscribe to my channel. So comment down letting me know below of who are your favorite MMA fighters. I'll see you guys next time.